Come in. Hey, Mac, good to see you. I was gonna let you know that I started a new business. I do at home glamour shots. I did not even know that was a thing, but honestly, I could use you, so come on in. These photos are perfect for LinkedIn, websites, very professional stuff like that. Sounds good. All right, Matt, just be natural as you would. Great, these are looking perfect. All right, now just relax your shoulders, butt out. Oh, these are looking great. Also, by the way, I do some special, more intimate pictures if you're interested in something like that. They're great for like girlfriend, boyfriend, cousin, no judgment here. Sure, if it's free. Undress to the level that you feel comfortable. That was good. Real good. You, you know, actually, um, these are not turning out the way I was expecting. The, the, the aperture was messing up the ISO. It overexposed, overexposed, real grainy, and I, I ran out of film. I don't know. I'll, that was a good first session. See you next time. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. In a previous episode, a couple previous episodes, we made bullets travel through pipes. And it was really crazy because we're making a 45 ACP slug travel through plastic pipes. Today we thought, let's try metal. So we got a bunch of metal pipe. And as you can see, we have it going all along here with couplings every 10 feet connecting the pipes. And we made it go way up in the air, about 40 feet, and come down giant loop-de-loop -loop through this awesome expedition straight down here to where we'll have coke packed with Mentos ready to hit the top, shoot it off like a rocket. Assuming it makes it all the way around this. We thought metal pipe should work better because we did have some blowouts on the plastic pipe. But we have a huge loop-de-loop -loop now, 360 degrees to the coke. We're gonna fire 45 ACP through it first. See if that makes it around, and then we might actually go up on caliber this time. I'm not very good at this, so I'm just gonna drop the whole thing in, open the top. Got it. We're gonna put this right here. We did a test earlier, and now the bees are everywhere. Hey, cool bees, you're about to get a lot more sugar. Ah, bees are everywhere, jeez. Okay, now we're gonna get behind cover. Whoa, <laughs> and fire this thing. Okay, we are ready to fire. Got a string on the trigger. Let's do her. 45 ACP in the pipe. It did not bust our soda, but I saw it moving over there. I saw dust fly off that pipe over there. And you could like hear it going carrying through, which in the plastic pipe, we never actually heard it. So is it still in the pipe or did it just not come out hard enough here? There's no bullet in that pipe. I feel like we'll be able to hear it somewhere if it's still here. I don't know. A demolition ranch mystery. I don't know what happened, so we're just gonna fire it again. So this is the exact same thing, round two. I still see dust come off over there. I still heard it ring the whole way around. Do we have anything different? I mean, the Coke still did not explode at the end. It sounds like there's just pieces of stuff in there. It doesn't sound like a whole bullet. I wonder if that thing's falling apart. We'll just open that up and look and see what we got. There's the jacket. So it's just shredding it in there. How crazy would it be if <laughs> the metal pipe works less good than the plastic pipe because it shreds it? The plastic pipe maybe gives and lets it go. Okay, I don't know what's happening with the 45s, so we're just gonna go ahead and go up. We've never shot a rifle through these pipes before. This is an AK-47. It is shooting a big, powerful round. That is a 7.62 by 39. Moving really fast, and we'll probably rip through this pipe. 
There's only one way to find out. Before we go any further, I want to say thanks to our sponsor of this episode, Simply Safe. There's almost always a rise in break ins during the holidays, and that's why Simply Safe is having their best sale of the year right now. Simply Safe is incredibly reliable and effective home security. You order it online, it is shipped directly to your door, and you install it in your house by yourself in under an hour. From there, your home is professionally monitored 24 7, and if anything happens, they'll make sure the police get called. They have sensors for everything you need, and it's totally customizable to your unique application. This is the home base, this is video cameras, door and window windows, sensors, motion detectors, glass break sensors. This is a freeze sensor, panic button, water sensor. This is your keypad, smart door locks, video doorbells, and smoke detectors, just to name a few. And they're all really easy to mount with double-sided tape or tiny screws. Really easy to test everything to make sure everything is connected and working. Simply Safe on. I really like Simply Safe because it's super easy to set up, it's super easy to use, and there are no hidden fees and no contracts. If you are completely satisfied, you're not locked into something long term with Simply Safe. If you'd like to learn more about their holiday deals, the best deal they've had so far, go to simplysafe.com slash demo ranch. It is linked in the description below. Thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. This is probably safe, right? Firing. I still saw dust come off of it, but it seemed like less than uh, 45. Dude, yeah. <laughs> There's a tiny little puncture, and you can see there was smoke coming out. I don't think it is now, but that bullet came and hit this corner right here and then tried to come out. Maybe a little piece of it did. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, so it's, that's the seam. It was pushing on that seam, and that's not even a sharp bend. I really thought... With metal, we could bend faster rounds, but that was trying to come out there. It looks like it did come out there a little bit. I still see some smoke coming out of the top of that. Yeah, that's probably why we didn't see it go around all the way. Listen, you can kind of hear a little bit like a dust in there. Kind of hear a little, little tiny pieces jingling around. So I think it just started breaking apart, especially once it hit those hard edges. Whew. Didn't work. FYI, we had the muzzle brake in this pipe and it did not do anything. I thought it might explode it, but it did not. I wonder if this one will explode it. It's a little bit bigger. Oh, this is a Barrett. 50 BMG. Definitely not gonna make it around this pipe, uh, but we're gonna just send it. Let's see what happens here. Rock this mag in. Okay. Also, we taped the ports up. That probably won't stay. We are on fire. We're gonna back up behind cover and Bust this pipe open. Hopefully this tree's bulletproof. Whoa. We broke everything. Holy cow. Totally cleared all the tape off of our muzzle brake and the muzzle brake looks fine. Here's where our tape was on the end right here. And then, as you can see, very quickly, it busted out. You can see where it started bending this pipe until it went enough. I mean, this is like eight inches in. It started going Pow! A lot of leaves in there. Oh my gosh, okay, so it hits this, but didn't come out. It busted open, but then went back down. Hits this, it's like breaking the, the galvanized layer off. And then it finally comes here and bust this out on this side but didn't come out, it went back in, came up here, <laughs> bust this out, made like a 10 inch hole in this pipe, but didn't come out, then it bounced back down and came here. This pipe is actually squished sideways right here because it was pushing in these two directions. Goes back down, bust all of this out, but doesn't come out, bounces back up to here, bust like another 10 inch section out of this pipe, bending the pipe, curving it, but not coming out. The bullet stays in, goes back down, comes right here, bends all this, breaking the galvanized layer off, but not going out, not breaking through this time. Bounces back up, hits that, little bit of layer coming off, and then what? Like it's, it's still in there, or it came out the end, because we bent here, there's no openings here. So let's just make our way down. Oh, and then it, so it made it all the way down here and then it starts bouncing again. So it nails that really hard. Not coming through though. It's spinning, it's spiraling through this pipe. Hitting here, all the way around here, all the way around here, spiraling around to here. Then doesn't touch the pipe until here. You can see it hits that 
and it's still spiraling. So it goes down there, not touching anything until it comes back around to here, knocking all that galvanization off. All the way around, spiraling around still. So this thing's going through our pipe, still spiraling here, 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 and then it hits our joint. So then it hit this pipe, tried to rip through right here, tried to rip through right here, little galvanization coming off. I don't know if galvanization is the right word for that. B! Right here, still scraping here, still spiraling, a little bit there, nothing big. And then it went to this pipe. I think this is where we lost it. So it went in here, came out there, and I think the bullet went whoosh and flew out right there. Probably lost like 90% of its energy though, bouncing around all in there. It was not going smoothly. Our 45 seemed to just kind of glide through all the pipes. This one was just like it up. After seeing that last one like bounce around and do crazy stuff, I wanted to see if it would do it in a straight pipe. So I got a straight pipe on the end of this Barrett. We're gonna do the exact same test as before, but we're straight this time. Firing! Jeez, that is so crazy loud. Here's where we went in. Looks like we were messing up right off the bat. I bet that was just pressure. I doubt the bullet hit right there. Uh, first, oh no, first started hitting here. It's bent right here, then it keeps hitting here and it's spiraling again, going this way, and then totally opens up. Now, the other end, how the heck did this go together? Like this, and I think it came out. Because there's no more bends, yeah. Okay, that one exploded out. That was a straight pipe, and it just exploded out the side of it. 50 BMG is pretty cool, right? I made one more thing. Well, we, we thought like the other pipe would work better, so we made this one just sort of as a joke, but now that we saw it, it doesn't even make it through the straight pipe, probably not gonna make it through this. But there's only one way to know. Giddy up, partners. Firing. Oh wow, it totally went around the loop-de-loop, -loop. totally did it, it was amazing. Totally went around, looped around and hit the, hit the thing over there. That's, that's what happened. Oh wait, nope. Went in here, instantly exploded straight out there. Yeah, that didn't work. Not one bit. Hold up, there's a hole here. Oh, I think this is, yeah, so it exploded out here, and I was seeing these issues over here. I think that's exploding out of here and hitting this pipe. There's dents all in this from that exploding so hard there. Uh, big surprise, didn't work, that's weird. Well, we ended up with a bunch of extra Mentos and Coke because I thought we were actually gonna be like busting that. Turns out, not the case. So, I thought, let's just do some science experiments, you know? Yeah! I'm trying to get four in here this time. Oh yeah, man! <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> I hit it so hard! I mean, like, that hit pretty hard. I didn't know if I was getting hit with glass or coke. I just saw stuff flying at me. We're gonna revisit the bent barrel video in the very first one of these. We bent an AR-15 barrel around 180 degrees and it was awesome. We wanna do that again, but now with different shapes. So let me know in the comments below what shapes you wanna see us bend a barrel in. Until then, thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. What about the quad hog? Uh, don't move, don't move. Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish. Ja, I love you! And I'll see you next time. And I'll see you next time. Ja, I love you! And I'll see you next time.
I love you. And I'll see you next time.